Hello my friends, thanks for stopping by. I hope you're all having a great day. Today I come to you with my hair looking kind of funky. Um, I thought during my product reviews when I'm doing, you know, shampoo and conditioner and styling products, I would let you see styled side and my hair drying naturally on its own. So today that's what you have. On this side I have used a shampoo, conditioner and a styling product using my round brush to blow dry and this is my hair in its natural state um, on its own, okay? And I know many of you are going to say, oh, I think your hair looks great on that. It really doesn't. It really doesn't, okay? It, there's a big difference, okay? Anyway, so today's product, last week I did a, uh, or I don't know when I did it. Uh, if you're getting tired of these reviews, please let me know in a nice way. I don't need to hear your nastiness, okay? Uh, but, you know, I do these because, um, you know, I'm a hairdresser and maybe I have a little different insight. I don't know. Anyway, um, this week is from the drugstore. You can also find this in your, they're in my grocery store also. I found these at Target. I'm sure Ulta has them. I will put links below. I will find them for you. This is the Giovanni Eco Chic Hair Care. And I have the shampoo, the conditioner, and if I can balance that, I also have the Too Chic Ultra Luxurious Leave-In Conditioning Style Elixir. And you'll notice on the front of this one there is a coupon and it is for $2 off any Giovanni Too Chic products, $5.99 or higher. These are under $10 each. So I got a $2 coupon off uh, of the shampoo and conditioner, okay? So let's get started. Let's talk about the shampoo. Its scent is cherry blossom. It is a very, very mild scent, okay? I, can, I can't even smell it. Uh, there's also rose petals in here. I did not smell any rose at all because I know many people find rose to be offensive. So um, the scent is very minimal. It's, it's, it's nothing to annoy you. I can't smell it at all. I'm super, I'm hypersensitive to scents. Ask Louis, he will tell you. Okay, so it is the Cherry Blossom Rose Petal, which I think is a very, very, very soft scent. It is their Ultra Luxurious Shampoo, and it's to pamper stressed hair. Any hair that is put through hot tools, that is put through bleaching or coloring is stressed hair. Any hair that is exposed to sunlight throughout the day, all day, if you're somebody who works outside, that is stressed hair. Hair that is put through swimming chemicals, that is stressed hair, okay? So this shampoo is for pampered stressed hair. It is to silk in the stresses with softness and shine. It calms and smooths stressed strands. It's fresh botanical, moisturized, and revitalizes tired hair. It is laurel and laureth sulfate free. Okay, and it has a dual calming complex. Um, and it says on the, it gives you a, um, a scale of how much it moisturizes, and this is to the max. Okay, when using the shampoo, it is very creamy. It's, it's lather is a very um, creamy lather. It does lather up pretty good for a sulfate-free shampoo. It, um, it's really, you can feel that it is a moisturizing lather that's going on. Uh, the rinse out, it rinses out fairly well. I had to really work at rinsing it out. Rinsing your hair of your shampoo is the most important step besides massaging your scalp. Okay, it is the most important. If you don't rinse your shampoo out, everything else is going to be a failure. And that is, a lot of people think that they have dandruff or an excessively dry scalp when in fact you aren't rinsing your shampoo out enough. Okay, so the rinse out factor of this was pretty good. Um, how did my hair feel just after the shampoo was off of it? It wasn't as, it didn't feel as soft as it does with some of the other shampoos I use. And I'm talking about my strands wet. It did not feel as soft as 
some of the other shampoos make it feel but um, you know it, it was okay but not great all right as far as the softness feel but it didn't have a stripped feeling like I felt uh, some of the Proganic line gave me that stripped feeling this one does not give me a stripped feeling at all it's just in comparison to some of the other shampoos I use it didn't feel as soft uh, wet as it does with some of the others okay so then we'll move on to the conditioner which is around the same price point under ten dollars and it also is the cherry blossom rose petal the scent of this is let me see if it's a little bit stronger than this shampoo well I got it on my nose now it is, it does have a little bit, it's, it's got a bite, a little bit stronger in scent than the shampoo, but still not obnoxious. I can't smell it on my hair right now. The, the uh, conditioner is for pampered out hair. It is to silk in the tresses. It says it leaves it unruly hair, detangled and manageable, strengthens over brittle hair, calms and soothes strands, strands in a fragrant floral blend. Okay, so uh, the amount I had to use of this was probably the size of a kiwi, okay? And for those of you who don't know what a kiwi is, then we'll go to a small, um, like a, not a kiwi would be too much. I used more, I used less than that. Let me think. In comparison, I used probably an eighth of a cup of this conditioner. And when I put it on my hair, it it really has a creaminess to it and it feels like it's detangling the strands but when I went to use my comb that I use I always take my conditioner from the bottom up with my wide tooth comb and comb up to detangle it even more there was some snagging so it wasn't really detangling like some of the others but it wasn't in performance it wasn't really poor as far as detangling it just isn't that you know that silkiness you get with some shampoos and I like to cover all bases because what's important to you may be something that I'm talking about these are important things to me detangling is very important to me because if you don't detangle you're pulling and breaking hair okay so um, I will say that it um, it's fairly good at detangling uh, with my wide tooth comb I had some snagging and then it rinsed out pretty well and it did not leave my hair feeling it has a slight coating that you feel but nothing that um, is gross feeling if I can make it how, how can I say this better you know how when you rinse some your hair just feels clean this one here leaves a little something behind with the conditioner so I rinsed it even a little bit longer than I normally would because if I leave that on my hair it will weigh it down so then uh, okay I get out of the shower I put it in my terry towel I absorb all the water out of it that, that I can usually I, I just have to take I have a flat um, another wide tooth comb over on the other side and I can comb through this one still has a little bit of snarl so for detangling not not 100% okay we'll say like 85% of detangling all right so then um, my hair felt uh, it, it didn't feel as moisturized as some of the other shampoos I use in the two steps that I did Okay, so then I purchased, purchased the Cherry Blossom Rose Petal Ultra Luxurious Leave-In Conditioner and Styling Elixir. This comes in a pump and it comes out looking like that. Okay, it's a um, pretty thick leave-in conditioner. All right, and uh, it has the same scent as the shampoo and conditioner. It's probably more along the line of the conditioner with a little bit of bite to it. Uh, this leave-in conditioner is supposed to add hydration that protects from heat styling, leaves hair detangled and manageable, and it helps prevent split ends and it prevents frizzies and flyaway. Okay, well obviously this is my hair blow-dried. I haven't been outside. My hair's probably been like this for about 
uh, half an hour now and there is no frizzing. It has a nice shine. I didn't use any oils or anything today with this just so that you could see. So it has a very nice shine. It does give a nice smooth feel to the hair. It does not leave the hair feeling coated or dirty. And um, it didn't give me a lot of volume though, as you can see. Okay, so it did weigh my hair down slightly, but it did, it feels wonderful. Um, it, my hair is dry to begin with, so remember I'm talking about dry hair, okay? So I, uh, I don't think the performance of the shampoo and conditioner was really that bad. I mean, what your end results, this is what you're getting. So there is nice shine, because I hate dull hair. Uh, there's nice shine. It's very, very calm. There's not a lot of frizzy going on. So if you're somebody who likes to blow dry your hair, this is somewhat the look that's going to come from it. Now this is my hair in its natural state. And um, as you can see, it's not a curl. It's not straight. It's just frizz. It's just there. Uh, it still has great shine. Maybe some of you would wear your hair out in public like this. I would not. This to me has to be fixed. So this is the look you get if you're going for um, a natural dry with this product. And I did use the leave-in with it. And the hair does feel um, nice. It feels nice, but this is the difference in the look. So then, there, again, we have the Giovanni Too Chic shampoo and conditioner as well as the Too Chic leave-in conditioner, ultra luxurious leave-in conditioner. I would probably, I will continue to use these and use them up. I probably will not use this serum because um, mm, it didn't, it, it's, it didn't do anything wrong but there's just not a lot of life in my hair and I think it just weighed my hair down too much. So. That's my opinion. Let us know in the comment if you are using this. Giovanni has several different ones. The next one I'm going to do is the hair mask and, well, the next drugstore one. Next I'll do another high end, which I'm going to talk about in one second. Um, but I have the avocado olive oil over here that I purchased. I purchased the mask and the um, shampoo and conditioner. I don't know which one that is. I have to get one of them because they didn't have it in stock. But I think I have the conditioner over there and the mask. So that will be coming up. Um, I mean, I, I think that one's going to do moist, more moisturizing than this one did. But anyway, let us know in the comments if you're using this product and how it works for you and what type of hair you have. Now, I thought since uh, if you are all still interested in this, I have some samples of some high-end shampoos and conditioners, and I figured I would tell you what they are and perhaps you would suggest which one you would like next because I don't really care which one it is. When I was in the hair store the other day, professional hair store, uh, Purology has a brand new line coming out. Well, she told me it's their newest line, their new one. And uh, it is the Purology Smooth Perfection. I have a shampoo and conditioner here. And then she gave me, they have a new styling product called Smooth Perfection Smoothing Serum, lightweight smoothing and intense. So what I think I might do is if you want to see this shampoo and conditioner, I'll do one side of the head with the heavy duty smoothing and one side with the smoothing serum maybe. The cream and the serum and see how it goes. So let me know about that one. The other one I have is by Paul Mitchell and it is called the Marula Oil Rare Oil Replenishing Shampoo and Conditioner. Looks like that. And this one also has a mask, so I would use the mask and let you know how that is. And then a little bottle of the Marula oil. And I'm going to just, from now on, because a lot of people, they think the, hot, the Velcro rollers give me the volume. So from now on, I'll just be blow drying my hair so you can see the results. Because you obviously know that if I use um, Velcro rollers, it's going to give more volume. So anyway, that is um, another choice, is the Marula oil. And then I also, for my 500 perk at Sephora, I got the B&B Hairdressers Invisible Oil Family Shampoo. Let's see what this one looks like. Let's see what's in here. It's the Hairdressers Invisible Oil Shampoo. And in here, 
I got the conditioner, the shampoo, and the primer, Invisible Oil Primer. So I could try that one. And then the other one that I got as a 500 perk for Sephora. And if you eventually like to see all of them done, just say you didn't really care and you'd like to see them all. Is the Caviar Anti-Aging uh, CC Cream a hair and scalp elixir and the shampoo and moisture. Now I will say that uh, I used to be able to get this in the professional stores many many years ago and I used this. I'm talking about 20 something years ago I think. This was a fabulous line. It broke my heart when they made it retail and I could no longer get it at wholesale. Uh, you couldn't get it anywhere for a while. It's making a big comeback now. So if this is another one that you would like to see you can let me know. But just let me know which one you're interested in next for our high-end shampoo and conditioner. And uh, I will tell you, um, because some people ask me for even less expensive drugstore, I love you all dearly and I say this with love, but I would never, ever, ever use a shampoo that can be put on sale for 99 cents. I pay too much money for my color and my hair is, you know, compromised hair because I do color it. I would never use that cheap a shampoo on my hair, you're getting nothing but detergents. And I don't mean to offend anybody, I'm stating facts here. I'm very sorry, but I cannot review those. The least I will go are these upper level for um, drugstore, the higher end drugstore, I will do. And these, I'm trying to stay under $10 uh, each for the shampoos and conditioners. And some of them I can catch on sale, that's even better. But, um, and these types of shampoos, they usually run buy one, get one 50% off in a lot of stores. So, um, I will always, I'll try to do that, okay? I love you all, but I can't. So anyway, that is it for my, um, weekly review of a hair care product. Uh, let me know if you're using any of these, as I mentioned, and let me know which one you're most interested in seeing next. And thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe. We're anti-aging everything here. The inside, the outside, the hair, everything. Um, go out in the world and have a great day. Be happy, healthy, beautiful, and most of all, lovable. I love you all, my friends. Bisous.